Yeah. But the, the the main thing I want to talk about is um, is uh, an, uh, an EP that's come out, um, and you know, and, and you know how we're big on uh, talking up our community and the, their achievements in life. So yeah, this is an EP released by one of our community members, and um, collusion. Oh yeah, co- yeah, collusion. Full <laughs> transparency. The bass player of the band is my best friend. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. This is, so, this, so this is the new EP from Cadence Noir, and um, it's it's got a great fucking title. Return of the Electric Bin Bags. Nice. So if you haven't heard Cadence Noir before, uh, they are a group from Nottingham. They are a a five-piece band who describe themselves as folk punk goth with a slightly romantic edge to them. And they are self-described loony lefties who shout about politics all the time and cause an absolute fucking riotous noise. Uh, I've been following, following them for years. Uh, so they've been around for about 10 years, just in and around the kind of Nottingham area. And they're fucking amazing. It's just this weird kind of blend and mash of different sounds. Um, they're one of these bands that have violin players. They all have different looks. There's a lot of leather, leather in this band. I would heartily recommend okay. it. I'm, I'm going to give you a clip of the opening track from the album called Statuesque. One thing I've always loved about Cadence Noir is all the songs sound quite different. So, like, the song you just heard, Statuesque, is what you would consider their most typical sound. It is folky, punky. It's got a nice kind of sound to it. got a nice little melody. Um, but there's tracks on it. So there's The Donkey and the Elephant, which is taking the piss out of American politics, which has one of the grooviest kind of muse-sounding riffs that I've ever heard. Um, Black and Decker is this kind of very sweet-sounding um, song with like a lot of kind of echo to it. Uh, but something, something nuclear war is, and I was talking to Tom, the uh, bass player, about this. Was their attempt at doing thrash, and it sounds like if Testament had bought a violin instead of a guitar. It's now you've got fucking it. incredible. Um, and the last I've just listened to that. That was good. Yeah, and the, la- the- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the the last track on there, washing up, um, is about. It's kind of like it's like a mournful, but yet slightly angry song about the pandemic. About like the people that were lost and stuff like that. Uh, mm. First time I listened, I had a little tear in my eye at the end of it. Oh man! Um, absolutely fantastic band. So it's a fi- five-track EP. You can get it on Spotify, or whatever. But if you go onto their Bandcamp, which I'll link in the uh, show notes, you can pick up the CD version of it for a fiver, and I'd really recommend it because Cadence Noir are just fucking brilliant, and I want to kind of talk this band up. They, they've done, they've played Download before. They've uh, they they won Metal to the Masses. Battle of the Bands Did competition. They? they beat metal bands. They're not metal bands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they are that good. They're brilliant. So everyone should go and listen to them. 